Today, the Henge appears ruined, but there's order in the chaos and clues to this ancient site's former glory. Five colossal arches stand at the heart of the Henge, arranged in a horseshoe and made from 20-foot-tall stones known as sarsens. Around them, circles of a different rock, known as bluestone, each weighing as much as an SUV. Another ring of sarsens encircles the bluestones, perfectly aligned with the winter solstice sunset and summer solstice sunrise. Although Stonehenge is famous as a celestial temple, archaeologists suspect a monument this big must have attracted other uses. But what? Modern forensic techniques are revealing the surprising answer. Because some of the people who came here never left. We know there are three to 400 burials in the general region. Archaeological bone expert Jackie McKinley suspects many of these people came to Stonehenge for more than just two days a year. They came to live and work, and she believes their bones can prove her theory. A lot of the time the dead are buried in certain positions, postures, with certain materials with them. So there's a whole variety of things that I go to look for, because that can tell me something about their life but also about Stonehenge itself. Buried beneath the stones lay human remains. Four skeletons, one decapitated. Another with fatal arrow wounds and the arrowheads that killed him. They're clues to the ancient people that came here four and a half thousand years ago. But these skeletons are not alone. Within a ring of 56 pits that surround the stones lie the cremated remains of dozens of people, and many more are buried outside this ring. What can these remains tell us about how Stonehenge was really used? 